Hey crafty people, it's Tasha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking part in Trinity's fourth birthday celebrations um, and we've got a blog hop going on uh, with giveaways, lots of fun, lots of inspiration. I'll drop the link in the description below. So for my video today, I'm going to be talking about repeat foiling. Now, I love to make my own backgrounds um, from stamping or stenciling or die cutting um, and having the same element or similar elements repeated right the way across the background, um, sort of to make it look like pattern paper. Um, and I thought that could be a really fun look and fun technique to do with this gorgeous print and cut seashell that is part of this latest release. So that's what I'm doing. So um, if you've seen my recent video, you'll know I have fallen in love with hot foiling on mirror um, cardstock, gl glossy cardstock. So I've got an A2 panel here. It's white glossy cardstock from Erin Lee. Um, and I've just positioned my seashell um, sort of to have one of them, a full one towards the middle, just so that you can see the full shape of it. Um, I've tacked that down with some of Spellbinders tape, just so if I don't get a perfect impression the first time, I can always pop some more foil underneath and go again. Um, but spoiler alert, <laughs> that's not needed. <laughs> so I'm using, this is like a silver speckled um, foil and I've not used it before and wow <laughs> wow so you can see there how I've got the the bit of tape um, that's sort of securing it in place and then the other bit that's acting as a hinge so when I first started to peel this back I was a little bit worried because everything had sort of stuck to it but look how beautiful that is and how easily that comes away and just oh amazing so once I was happy with that one um, I then just repositioned the shell and um, added new foil each time until I'd got shells all the way over the background um, so as you can see here this is the last one and how good do they look so I need to show you that you can run when you've done the foil, when you've done hot foiling, you can run that back through with the foil plate um, in another area. That's not going to harm the foiling that you've already got down. Um, that's not going to be an issue at all. So that's a great technique to be aware of. So I've got the, there is a new a Simply Sentimental set um, that's birthday. So you get a stamp set um, and there's also a coordinating die. So today um, here I'm using the, just the die set. So I've got the letters that are going to be cut out of some more of that white glossy cardstock. Um, and then here to cut the shadow um, or background piece, I decided that I wanted to make a rainbow. <laughs> so. I'm just using the die there just to get a rough size of how big it needs to be um, for me to be able to, to cut that die from. Um, and then I'm just using some Copic markers and just running through. I started um, with the reds, went all the way across, um, and then I was coming back just to help blend those in a little bit more. Um, and I did realise that I did need um, more, more of it coloured um, in order to cover the whole die cut. So that's what I'm doing and once I've gone all the way back across I am loving that rainbow blend, amazing. Uh, and then I'm going to cut the shadow from that, um, just tacking it down with a little bit of tape so that I know I'm going to get exactly where I want. Then here there's are those letters on the, the glossy cardstock um, and I've applied some double-sided adhesive to the back of that just to help me um, stick those down onto the, the background a little bit easier and look how beautiful that background shadow piece is I love it so I'm using some reverse tweezers here um, and just yeah sticking each letter down so all the letters come individually and um, it's going to spell out birthday 
and having that adhesive already on the back makes it so much easier and quicker um, than trying to fiddle about with um, wet glue or some other type of adhesive. There you go, there's my finished birthday. And then to complete that sentiment, I'm going to stamp um, I'm going to stamp the rest of it from that Simply Sentimental set. So to get a really nice edge on my uh, foiled piece, I'm going to cut that down with the second largest um, of the modern embossed layering set. And then I'm going to cut the largest size, which is A2, from some black cardstock, just to mat that up a little bit. Um, and there's that other part of the sentiment that I've stamped. I'm going to pop it up on some foam tape, um, but behind those kind of um, thin sentiment strips, I don't use foam tape anymore. I've been using my scrap cardstock, um, and I love that. So that's what I've done for that. Um, I'm just popping that into place. And then I'm going to finish with some embellishments. <laughs> so I decided I sort of skipped through a few that I wasn't quite sure which to use. Um, and I landed on these, like they're like pastel rainbow confetti pieces. Um, so I just put out some that matched the colours of my rainbow. And there's my card. I love it. It's so exciting. Um, and the fact that you can repeat foil without it spoiling foiling that you've already done, I think that that is a game-changing <laughs> technique. Um, and I hope that you'll give it a try. Don't forget to head on over to the blog hop to see what the design team and the rest of the guest designers have to inspire you um, and also to check out their giveaway. I hope that you have a lovely, happy, safe and wonderful week. Please do consider subscribing if you aren't already subscribed and stay crafty. Bye.